Hello and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator where today we're going to be checking out the best freeware add-ons for the sim. So about a year ago I did a video showing the top 10 best add-ons for the sim which included a lot of payware mods and I had a lot of comments asking for some freeware add-ons as well. So I did have a bunch of free mods in that video so I'm not going to mention the same ones but uh, if you want to know what those were then please do go check out that video. So the first add-on we have is called G's Landing Rate Calculator. So this add-on is a separately run program and when used will give you a landing score in feet per minute which shows you how smooth your landing was. It also stores and saves each of your landings which you can go back and look at at any point. It then shows you extra information including touchdown speed, crosswind factor, g-forces on impact and a few other things. This is a great add-on to help you improve your landings and make them smoother, so I would highly recommend this mod. Next up we have the Heavy Division Boeing 787. This mod drastically improves the default 787 Dreamliner that comes with the sim, if you have the premium deluxe version that is. This mod basically overhauls all the systems in the aircraft and makes them fully functional like in the real aircraft. Some of the things it changes are it adds the IRS alignment and completely overhauls all the IRS systems, improved LNAV and VNAV, an overhauled MCDU and FMC, and improved sounds and handling. This mod makes a default aircraft in the sim into a highly detailed high fidelity aircraft and because of this it really adds a lot of fun and immersion of flying this aircraft so if you are into Boeing aircraft or long haul I suggest you download this right away. The next add-on we have is ChartFox. This is a website that features airport charts. This is the same as Navigraph except it's free. Of course it being free it does lack some of the features of Navigraph but it still gives you a large selection of airport charts of which are really high quality. It gives you the charts of all the general aerodrome information, the taxiways, the SIDS, the STAR and the approach charts. You even have the ability to pin specific charts and even download and print them. This is the perfect mod for anyone who doesn't have a Navigraph subscription and wants to use charts. You do have to create an account with VATSIM but this is completely free and will only take a minute. So for our fourth add-on we have the Simbrief panel. So Simbrief is a website where you can create a flight plan and once you've imported all the information into Simbrief it'll look like this and you can go ahead and download a PDF document of an OFP which is an operational flight plan however it does mean you have to download it and then you'll have to have it on a separate window or a separate uh, device to be able to use it instead of flicking between it and Microsoft Flight Simulator. And for our fifth and final add-on we have the no toolbar handle. This add-on is very simple and all it does is it removes the little white tape up the top of your screen when you move your mouse. The only time you'll see the toolbar now is if you move your mouse exactly where it is in the top middle part of the screen. So this one is great for keeping the immersion in the sim. So uh, yeah. And with that, that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and you can take something away from this video. Um, hopefully you guys can try out these mods and you'll find them just as great as I do. And with that, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And once again, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Stars, I'm a